Hello, Fresno State faculty and fellow students. My name is Parker Fritch, and I, along with my fellow group members, Taj Panu, Juliana Cabrera, and Donna Zhang, are going to present prevalence of homeless populations in California through our Public Health 109 Epidemiology and Disease course under the direction and supervision of Dr. Susan Merlowe. A little bit of background of the homeless population in California. Homelessness is described as the state of conditions in a situation for an individual that does not have a stable, permanent, or appropriate housing situation. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit in 2020, the homeless population in California was trending upward with 151,278 individuals experiencing some level of homelessness on a daily basis. To the right is an image of the top 10 states with the highest homelessness rate pre-COVID-19, just before March of 2020 was when this image came out. California currently ranks fourth on this list, just below Hawaii, New York, and Washington, D.C. The research question my group chose to analyze for this presentation is how has the population of homeless individuals been affected in California over the last decade and as a result of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic? So I will be describing some California homeless statistics. To the left, we see a comparison between California and nationwide. And we can see that for the unsheltered um, statistic in California, it is double that of nationwide um, with 69%. To the right, we see a breakdown of uh, the homeless population groups, um, veterans, families, and unaccompanied young adults, um, which the last group, young adults, uh, makes up 11,993, which is the highest um, number out of all, all, all four groups. And um, under that, we see a number, we see the breakdown of the homeless students and residents type. Um, population affected. 28% of California's homeless population is chronically homeless. 65% um, is male, 33.4% is female, and 1.2% is transgender, and 0.4% is gender non-conforming. Um, for in terms of race, 30% uh, of homeless people in California are African American. This, this data comes from the US Department of Housing and Urban Development. Um, to the right, we see a state demographic with the breakdown of different um, statistics in terms of um, that are specific to the state of California. Um, this graph is a chronological bar graph from 2007 to 2017, and we see a fluctuation um, throughout the years, but we see a gradual increase from 2014 to 2017. Um, and the unsheltered population is, makes up the majority than, than that of the sheltered population. Okay, so who is at risk? When it comes to the statistics of who are represented among California's homeless population, according to reports by the Department of Housing and Urban Development, African American and Native Americans are overrepresented among this certain population. From CalMatters, it is reported that those experiencing homelessness are more likely to be male than female and significantly more likely to identify as LGBTQ in comparison to the general population. And continuing on, this is just a list of factors that can contribute to homelessness. And just to point out some of these factors, they can consist of unemployment, trauma, and violence. As for the trends with results from the National Alliance to End Homelessness, through findings as of 2009, the number of homeless veterans in California has decreased by 49.4%. Homeless families have dropped by 27.9% and those who experience chronic homelessness has been reduced by 10.3%. But individual homelessness has increased by 11% over the last three years. Hi guys, my name is Taj Panu and I'm gonna be showing you guys two of the biggest cities in California um, and their homelessness rate. So the first one we have is San Francisco. The latest one night homeless count in San Francisco indicates that the numbers have gone up by at least 17% since 2017. 
In 2007, you can see about 5,703 people were unsheltered. Um, it spiked up in 2009, but began to decrease in 2011. You see a, um, a sharp spike in 2013 at 7,008, and it just slowly increases up until 2019 at 8,011. The source for this graph is San Francisco Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing. The next one we have is LA. Um, LA County homeless and their population jump started in 2011 with the population being 39,414 that were homeless. Um, you can see it began to decrease, but there was a spike and it increased up to 58,936 in 2019. The source for this graph is Los Angeles Homeless Service Authority. So you guys might be asking what's being done. Some long-term solutions are permanent supportive housing and rental assistance. Some short-term solutions are shelters, crisis services, mental health and substance abuse resources. Many of the resources depend on the person's status and situation, and many of the programs and resources come from federal, state, or local funding. Majority of the funds come from federal funding, which accounts for about 180 million, and from the Corporation for Supportive Housing 2011. There are many nonprofit organizations and state and federal programs that help the homelessness population that address different aspects of homelessness. Some of these programs are Marjorie Mason Center, Salvation Army, Wing Center, Evangel Home, and numerous others. And these are our references that we used. Thank you.